Let's take a look at the percent composition by mass of MgOH2, that's magnesium hydroxide. So let's start by looking at magnesium. We'll look at each element here in magnesium hydroxide. For magnesium, we want to find the molar mass for magnesium, or the atomic mass here on the periodic table, 24.31 grams per mole. We're going to multiply that by the number of magnesium atoms. We just have one. So we multiply that by one, and then we divide by the molar mass for the entire compound here, magnesium hydroxide. If you need help finding the molar mass for MgOH2 here, there's a link at the end of the video. So we multiply, then divide, and to get a percent, we multiply that number by 100. That gives us 41.68%. That's the percent composition by mass per magnesium in magnesium hydroxide. We do oxygen and hydrogen the same way. So for oxygen, what we'll do is we'll take that 16.00, that's the molar mass of oxygen from the periodic table, we multiply that by 2, because this 2, it applies to everything here. 2 times the 1 oxygen, that gives us our 2 oxygens here. We multiply, get that number, divide by the molar mass. You should note that grams per mole, it's on the top and the bottom, that's going to cancel out. Multiply all of that by 100, we get 54.86 percent composition by mass for oxygen and magnesium hydroxide. So pause and find the percent composition by mass for the hydrogen here in magnesium hydroxide. So we have 1.01 .01 and we have 2 times the 1, so we have the 2 hydrogens. We multiply, divide by the molar mass for magnesium hydroxide, and then when we multiply by 100 we get 3.46 and these numbers here, they should add up to very close to 100%. This is Dr. B with the percent composition by mass of MgOH2, magnesium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.